Hello, hello. Welcome to Islands of Ice again, folks. I think we just did a video on this map yesterday. We got another good game, though. Actually, yesterday's game was our featured boring game for the week. Where we played as a good little cruiser. Like you're supposed to. But tonight. Today. This morning. Whenever you're watching this. We are in the Conqueror. We about to conquer some shit. <laughs> this is one battleship. You do not want to be broadside to other battleships in, though. So, we won't be angled like this for long, right? Once some things, once some stuff starts to go down, once some spots start to happen, we're going to have to change our tune here. But, I'm trying to kind of get out over by sea to help defend the zone. We got a destroyer going into it. You always want to support your team, right? And this creates a little bit of a flank. We do have this ship set up for um, pretty good range and accuracy, as well as HE shells. That's kind of where the Conqueror, a lot of, in fact, a lot of the uh, the British battleships uh, kind of thrive, right? Is with their um, high explosive shells. So we'll light some fires tonight. We will light some fires. This Montana is nice and broadside. That would be wonderful to have AP loaded, but we don't, so we're going to fire the fire at him. We are hitting full reverse and turning away because he fired right back at us, and that ship, that ship could murder us way quicker than we can murder him, right? So, <clears throat> the name of the game, for the most part, with this uh, ship is to burn him down, burn him from top to bottom, right? <laughs> It looks like he's letting that fire burn, so we are already up to 16k damage done with one salvo. That's not half bad, right? Take a shot at that Conqueror. Minotaur popped up. We're reacting as quickly as we could to try and get a shot on him, too. Looks like the Montana put our fire out that we put on him, but we're getting some more started. Got two more. On uh, the other Conqueror, I think that's who we hit. <clears throat> With that one. Problem solved, sir. And Montana, still broadside. You know, I think he's probably like, you know what, that conqueror is shooting HE shells. I don't have to, I don't have to angle myself. <laughs> well, well, you're an easier target. We'll just keep lighting you on fire then. How about that? <clears throat> so you will notice me switch when, uh, when it's appropriate, right? When, and you know, maybe this is all part of my plan, right? Like we'll just we'll fire. HE shells for like the first seven minutes of the game, and then they'll just assume that's the only thing we know how to do, right? <laughs> um, but no, like if you if you got the time and like the you know like I don't like switching right in between when a reload's happening, right? So I wouldn't want to I don't want to switch right now because it's that much that's that much less bullets I can fire, um, you know. Uh, overall, once you know if you're switching all the time between reloads, right? So what I like to do is fire then reload and switch like we did here, right? So this Conqueror, like I know the weaknesses of the Conqueror because we are playing as the Conqueror, right? So he looked like he was gonna keep sailing broadside and then he did. So that, so we switched to armor piercing and it's like he knew, it's like he knew. So these shots from the Montana could have been worse than they were there, but we will use our first heal. Um, <clears throat> and then we will use our AP shells on him see what we can do here he's gonna move or not and then I think we're taking bullets from the Minotaur which isn't too bad but you don't want to just sit there and take it because he will whittle you down quite quickly you're like oh that wasn't so bad and then those salvos just keep coming really quickly so yeah <laughs> so we switch back to high explosives we're gonna get ourselves turned around potentially here kind of trying to see what's happening uh, but this battleship, uh, this Kerfurst, I just he's up too far. There are too many ships that are going to be shooting at him. The Schleifen's coming in. Their Conqueror's there. Their Montana's there. Their Minotaur is there. Um, and so that's kind of why we are in a retreat position right now, right? So um, the Kerfurst is, you know, they're, you know, a lot of times people do Fire. brawler builds with them with 
you know, really awesome secondary batteries, because that's kind of where their strengths lie, but that can only get you so far. If it's five on one, <laughs> or five on two, like, we're in a position to support him, but, like, yeah. If these guys keep advancing aggressively like they're doing, which I would do, too. It's five on two over here, four on two over here. Like, that makes total sense. There's probably a destroyer in there somewhere, too, right? So, yeah. I don't want to be that close. Even if I have awesome <laughs> secondary batteries, I don't want to be that close. But <clears throat> it is what it is. You do you. You may not have realized the situation he got himself into. And here's another situation where it's like, oh man, I wish I had AP loaded. So we will fire off our HE shells and switch right away. Don't use damage gun, don't use damage gun, don't use damage gun. I'm the guy that like sees it pulsating down there and is like, use damage con, there's two seconds left on your fire. <laughs> and then I just waste it. So yeah, this isn't too bad. Um, we'll use our heal in a second here. Um, but this isn't, you know, if you're angled, you can you can take some bullets pretty well. You'll get a lot of like ricochets and stuff, right? So if the enemies are, if they start aiming a little bit higher and bullets are falling through the deck and they're shooting at your superstructure, then you start getting into into more trouble, but as long as you're not broadside, that's your, kind of your best situation. And we do try to regulate our speed here to speed up, slow down, that kind of thing. Um, we lost our curve first there in the fray while we were shooting at the Schleifen. <clears throat> but um, he is angled really well for us, so, or, you know, not really well for us, you know, he's angled appropriately to not take a lot of damage from us, so we are using high explosive shells, like, that'll be the name of the game. Light him on fire until we burn him down. <coughs> and yes, we still have the sickness. My sexy raspy voice isn't isn't as apparent though. So yeah. Sorry guys. Sorry for those of you who are listening to hear sexy raspy Phoenix 61. <laughs> But so far this strategy is paying off for us. We are super low on health, so you would think that these guys would team up on us and just murder us to death, right? Um, but uh, <laughs> as we're we're retreating and uh, we're we are up to 122,000 damage, we're gonna get these bullets off and we are gonna switch to AP because this dude is still sailing broadside to us. So if he's gonna keep going that way, he doesn't, you know, if he wants to turn in, he's turning into an island there, right? So hopefully this is our chance to get ourselves a nice big hit and we're not just whittling people away no matter how much fun that is <laughs> I really do enjoy the uh, damage over time uh, status effects but that's part of why I like to play the uh, Japanese cruisers too me and Japanese cruisers and uh, British battleships right go hand in hand right so we switch to AP and it is beautiful don't ever underestimate the AP rounds out of this ship <laughs> Same with the Marlboro. We like the Marlboro, the Tier 8 one as well. Very similar setup, right? So I'm hitting the full brakes here. Um, for some reason in my head, I was like, oh, there's still a destroyer out here somewhere, and there's not. Like, they're all dead to these, right? So 144,000 damage we are up to, and don't worry. Stay tuned. We're going to get ourselves back in the fight here, even though it is, what, 7 on 3 here? <laughs> This Montana's back for more, this one that we spotted early on in the game, and he's going to wish he finished us off early on in the game, right? So, holding off on firing at him for the time being, um, just because that's a pretty tough ship as well, and if we are broadside to him, he could definitely finish us off in one salvo with the 22,000 health that we have left, right? So, um, so we get angled appropriately here, and then of course he uh, goes unspotted, but... It's only a matter of time, and there he is. Yep. <laughs> we'll get all four guns lined up. So I'm not. I'm deciding to um, just kind of move with him and away from him. So I held off on firing for another few seconds so that we can start getting turned away. Right. <clears throat> this way, if he does, you know, slam on the rudder <laughs> and get all of his turrets pointed at us, uh, we have a, the best chance, right, to uh, not die. Right. <clears throat> so waiting on him to be spotted again I can't imagine yeah I was gonna say like he's either gonna fire his guns and get spotted or um, yeah so he wants us to switch to AP too 
I don't know if he saw what happened to his Schleifen buddy, but uh, that's about to happen to him too here. So <laughs> we pop the high caliber. We are just rocking the damage against everybody. Waiting for this AP to load. Though he is um, either burning or flooding or something there, because we can see his damage ticking down. But you know, we're spotted. Like he could, I mean, he could do some awesome damage to us right now. So it's kind of, um, you know, they've just been hyper focused on whoever's been in B zone. So we're just taking full advantage of it, right? <clears throat> and that's gonna finish him. Except somebody else had bullets on the way too. Oh nope, that was the conqueror over there. Uh, that was um, burning him, right? <laughs> So he died, died from fire damage right at the last second, even though we, we did the last chunk. Uh, that gives us a Dreadnought, too. We managed to uh, get a lot of healing action happening, right? So the, the uh, British heals are amazing um, and can heal a ton of damage. Um, sometimes it'll be like down to like a quarter and you can go back up to like three quarters. Like it'll f literally fill up half your health, um, which kind of depending on the situation there. <clears throat> We'll show, go through quick how we have the commander set up. This is actually Andrew Cunningham that we're using here, but the uh, commander guys is this um, sexy racer, Czech Ella Rossi, Ella Rosie. I'm not sure how to say her name. But for the most part, we're picking inspirations that have to do with range, accuracy, or HE shell damage. Um, yep, so these are shell groupings. <clears throat> Dependent on the ship type you're shooting at. And then, uh, yeah, battleship range, battleship shell grouping, controversy read. <laughs> Picking that over um, this other perk because I don't like the minus 10% battleship speed, right? So I almost never choose shell switch time because I'm kind of typically prioritizing HE shells. And then main battery range and will to rebuild, of course, right? Because we always do that. That's our favorite one. Thank you for watching, guys. I am trying to put out a World of Warships video every day, so please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, feel free to leave your constructive criticisms as well in the comments. Thanks for watching.